Hi everyone, it is I, Stefan, from the Miami Children's Museum Theater Troupe. Today, for Back to School Month, I will present to you a folktale. A folktale is a traditional story typically passed down by word of mouth. The folktale I will be sharing with you will be told by word of mouth, but I also added some puppets, just for fun. And now I present to you The Crow and the Pitcher, sponsored by PNC Bank and Florida Dairy Farmers. The Crow and the Pitcher. It was a hot summer day, and Crow was very thirsty. Ah, I'm very thirsty! I must find some water! Crow looked everywhere, but saw no water. It had not rained in a long time, and there were no puddles to be found. There wasn't even water in the horse's trough. Where can I find something to drink? As the crow continues her search, she comes across a large pitcher under a tree. Mm, that's a large pitcher. I wonder what is in it. Crow goes up to the pitcher to take a look inside. Yes! The crow sees that the pitcher has water in it. Water? Yes! Now I can finally have something to drink. Crow leans over to take a sip, but notices something. Oh no! The water is only at the bottom of the pitcher! Crow tries and tries to reach the water. Oh! The crow's beak was just too short. My beak is just too short! Crow then tries to tip the pitcher on its side so she can drink the water as it spills out. But It was too heavy for the bird. Hmm. I must think of a way to get into that pitcher. Crow paused for a moment to think. Hmm. And think. Hmm. While thinking, Crow started looking at what was around her. She noticed a pile of pebbles. This gave her an idea. Eureka! I have an idea! Crow picked up a pebble and dropped it into the pitcher. Then she took another pebble and dropped it into the pitcher. Then she took another pebble and dropped that into the pitcher. Then she took another pebble and dropped that into the pitcher. As Crow added more and more pebbles into the pitcher, the water began to rise. It got higher and higher until it reached the rim of the pitcher. Crow was now able to drink the water that was at the bottom of the pitcher. Ah, my thirst is gone. It goes to show that good things don't always come quickly, but if you work hard and are clever about it, (laughs) it might be worth the wait. The end. And that was The Crow and the Pitcher. Thank you for joining me with today's story time. Till then, see you next time.